Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist will downgrade with the next supply. If that sounds good to you, please give it a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist will downgrade with the next supply. They will downgrade after being with you. And they may be fully aware of what they're doing. They understand that they were the weaker half of the relationship when they were with you. They recognise that they were not on your level and it made them very insecure, which is why they then devalued and discarded you or they demoted you to a less important position as a punishment because they felt inferior to you. So they wanted to exert control. They wanted the power to influence and direct your behaviour and the course of events and they attained that by rejecting you. It gave them an ego boost. It made them feel better about themselves because you were more powerful, successful and attractive than they were. So by me being mean to you and discarding you, they felt like they had gained an advantage over you. As though they had done something that shows they are better than you. Because to them, it means they are superior. In their minds, they didn't fall for you like everyone else does, when really, they're just deeply insecure because they know they're not good enough, which they then projected onto you by trying to punish and correct you based on the ways that someone wronged them in the past. They have an overwhelming fear of rejection, abandonment and exposure. So they have to get you before you get them. They believe that if they reject you first, then you can't reject them. Which is why they push you away first. Because they already know you're never going to be happy with them. They know they're not on your level which is why they acted dishonestly and insincerely. They pretended to be on your level. They gave you a deceptive outward appearance, but beneath that, they knew they were not good enough for you. They knew you were not going to be satisfied with them over a long period of time. You were a challenge to the narcissist. You were unachievable. You were out of their league which is why they then became very competitive and they tried to question your authority because they already saw you as being above them. They already had this expectation of you to be the one who would naturally have the power and right to give orders, make decisions and enforce obedience because they could already see that if anything was to go wrong in the relationship, it would affect you more than it would affect them. And that's really how we determine who is most valuable in a relationship. The most valuable person is the one who has more to lose. The one who could be exposed to imminent loss, evil or failure as a result of another person being involved in their life. So you were the one who had the most value in the relationship. And that is why they acted so recklessly and carelessly. Because while you had all of that value to offer to their lives, in comparison to you, they really had nothing to lose at all. So they were having a field day with you. They were getting enjoyment from criticizing you and making fun of you because they were taking advantage of an opportunity. They were going to town on you. They overindulged without restraints. It was like they had been starving for weeks and someone suddenly offered them a feast because their situation was bad. 
So it was worth taking a risk to be involved with you. Because even if their action was unsuccessful, it could have made their situation any worse. Much like a thief who has no money and decides to steal from a store. They are aware that even if they get caught, their situation isn't going to be much worse than it already is. So they saw you as a come up, a great opportunity. Something that wasn't going to leave them any worse off if they failed. They recognized that you were superior to them, which is why they manipulated you, lied to you, future faked, devalued you and gaslighted you until they eventually realized that they couldn't be you and that your qualities could be theirs, which made them feel insignificant in comparison to you so they tried to damage you, but they couldn't break your spirit. They couldn't destroy your self-esteem. They couldn't take away your joy in life, your belief and joy in who you are. Although that is what they intended to do. They wanted to make you hate yourself. They wanted you to give up on your life. They wanted to take away your dreams and the life you had hoped for, to where you would have been emotionally beaten down to the point where you would have lost all hopes and dreams of being the person you once had been. They wanted to leave you in a state of depression, which is why they conditioned you to believe you're not worthy of not only happiness, but also life. But somehow, you kept your spirit alive. You continued the pursuit for enjoyment, fulfillment, and being there for people, while they tried to break your spirit because they were only thinking about themselves. They were not thinking about you. They are selfish and controlling. They wanted full control of your mind, heart and soul, but it was too challenging for them because you were resilient. So now they have no choice but to downgrade. Water seeks its own level. People are usually attracted to those who are the same as they are. Birds and feather flock together, which is why the narcissist will downgrade, and it can be really shocking to see it when this happens. But this is exactly what they will do. They will find someone who can be obtained and persuaded with little effort. Someone who is easy to take advantage of, because they couldn't have their way with you. They couldn't get you to do what they wanted you to do. They couldn't break you. And yet, they need supply to survive, which results in disaster, because then they lose the supply that you offered. But they believe they had no other choice, because you were too much of a challenge, and they didn't feel worthy of you. They felt like you were taking the spotlight away from them, so now they've chosen to descend because it's too much work for them to manipulate someone on your level. So they chose to go back to what is familiar to them, with someone who they can control, someone whose behavior they can influence and direct, someone who they can deprive and keep within limits, because you recognize that you are deserving of something more. So they can no longer control you, but they may also be involved with another narcissist to where they're going to experience a lot of suffering and it's going to be difficult and unpleasant where neither of them can extract supply from each other because they both lack the effect of empathy. So it's going to be a struggle for both of them because they can't extract supply regardless of how much force or persuasion is used. No matter how convincing they may be, it's just not going to have any effect on them. And this is why they typically bond together over targeting someone outside of the relationship. Because that's the only way they're able to get their emotional needs met. But many narcissists these days end up with each other because empaths are extremely rare. And also because narcissists are actually more comfortable with each other. When the narcissist was with you, they were constantly walking on eggshells. They had to appear a certain way to try to get you to accept them. But when they're involved with another narcissist, they don't have to worry about that anymore. They can just be themselves. While when they were with you, 
they had to pretend to be something they're not, which required a lot of effort. And it was a very uncomfortable experience for them. Which is why, as you may recall, you always had to overextend yourself. You had to do more than what was usual, typical or ordinary, because you felt like you were imposing an excessive burden of work or commitments. You could feel their stress. So at some level you recognised that this was not natural for them. It wasn't something they wanted to do or to be involved in. Being with you was very uncomfortable for them. They were constantly walking on eggshells around you. They were being very careful not to offend or upset you. Not because they cared about your feelings or needs, but because they didn't want you to treat them differently. They wanted to keep extracting supply from you, so they had to keep up this act. This illusion of whatever they thought you wanted to see, while controlling you and keeping you at arm's length, to prevent you from harming their false persona. But they actually took no pleasure from upholding this false persona. It was very unpleasant for them. Which is why they were trying to change you. They were trying to change your way of thinking and the way you behave. They wanted to change everything about you. But instead, they had to change everything about themselves. They had to put on this act and pretend to be something they're not. They had to pretend to be into things they weren't really interested in. As though that actually meant something to them. As though it was something they held near to their hearts. They changed everything about themselves until it became unbearable. Until it became too difficult and too painful to manage and cope with. They were overwhelmed by the situation and couldn't take it anymore. But that's not who they really are. It's not what they're really about. Which is how you often saw their mask slip. You saw contradictions, incongruencies and inconsistencies. Things that didn't add up. Things that didn't seem to make any sense. Because it was difficult for them to contain the fact that they were misleading you through lies and trickery. They were pretending. They were speaking and acting to make it appear as though something is the case when it is not. They gave you a false appearance. They concealed their true intentions and motives, which was extremely uncomfortable for them. But they don't need to conceal who they are when they downgrade. They can rip off their mask and be exactly who they are. Because that other narcissist may be dealing with, that they may be dealing with, is going to be exactly the same as them. They're both as toxic as each other. Which is why the narcissist will feel a lot more comfortable in that situation. They didn't feel comfortable around you. Because you wanted completely different things. And at that point, they realised that they couldn't control you anymore. So they had no choice but to go back to their level. They had no choice but to descend and to settle for someone who was foolish enough to go along with their agenda. Because that was never going to be you. They couldn't control you any longer. So instead they just take whatever they can find. They pick someone less attractive, less successful and less intelligent. Because they couldn't have their way with you. They couldn't have you under their control. Which is why you see them downgrade. But it doesn't say anything about you. They have just gone back to their level. They've returned to what they're used to. To what they're familiar with. Which is going to be really toxic. Because they're both toxic people. But that is what they deserve. They deserve someone who is the same as them. So that's what they get. And it's extremely unlikely that they will ever find another empath. Individuals with high effective empathy are very rare in this world today. 
so they will be suffering and they will remember how potent your supply was but you were too challenging for them to deal with so instead they saw you as a difficult problem as someone who is too difficult to understand and influence which means that you have won because they failed to conquer you they couldn't manipulate you to the extent that they wanted to but they wanted to manipulate you they wanted to have complete control over you but they couldn't so they had to settle for less they had to downgrade and now they're struggling because they can't extract supply from each other which is why you will see the narcissist flaunting their new supply on social media they have to do that because they can't get any supply from each other directly which is why you should not look at their social media because it's all fake and it is intended to deceive you and when something is fake you may experience the trauma bond the trauma bond is something you will experience when you're being fed a pack of lies when you know something to be true about yourself or about the narcissist and yet they're trying to make you think differently which is why it's so important for you to keep educating yourself with these videos because this will help you to break the trauma bond the truth is that the narcissist is not satisfied with themselves and they are not satisfied with their new supply that's why they formed a new supply on social media to try to get supply from other people narcissists can't get supply from each other they lack effective empathy they're not interested in intimacy or connection and that is why you could never connect to them that is why they were always trying to punish you they have to punish old sources of supply or they have to manipulate other people who haven't seen beneath their masks and that's just what they have to settle for for now because they can't get that potent high grade supply that always that only comes from an empath from you anymore thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.